What's up everyone and thanks for joining me again this week. Pop quiz, what is the output of the below three statements? We have three variables that are all set to the value of 100, just one of them is a varchar data type, the second one is a big int, and the third one is a tiny int. And in all three cases, we're casting those variables as varchar twos. So what do you think the outputs are? As you might have guessed, the first conversion truncates the value, leaving us with an answer of 10. This makes sense, or at least it makes intuitive sense to me, uh, since you're taking three characters and storing it only in two places, the last one gets chopped off. The second statement produces an exception. This also makes intuitive sense to me because a number can't be converted into a string that has fewer places than the original digits of that number. Now the third output is the surprising one. Instead of an error message, we just get SQL Server outputting an asterisk. That's right, no error messages, no trimming of the value, it just converts it to a star. And it's worth noting that if we change our queries to convert to a varchar 3, all three of these answers would result in the number 100 and it would work perfectly fine. So what is exactly happening with this asterisk? To be completely honest, I don't know, at least not with 100% certainty. The best answer I was able to find in my researching is from Robert Sheldon, who just says that this asterisk is a behavior from the days before proper error handling and exception handling were added to SQL Server. Basically, way back when, when a truncation error would occur, uh, the SQL Server team decided to just display it as an asterisk. Over the years, they must have decided that wasn't a good idea, and an actual an exception would be a better uh, response to that kind of truncation error, so as not to mislead anybody or confuse them with the asterisk. So when they added the big int data type much later on, uh, they did implement the exception. But for backwards compatibility purposes, they left the old data types, the ints, the small ints, the tiny ints, uh, to just convert to that asterisk value. As you can see in this nifty table, uh, it indicates what kind of truncation conversion errors will result in an exception and which ones will result in SQL Server displaying an asterisk. Now, if that's not confusing enough, this becomes a bigger issue if you are concatenating numbers with string values and suddenly the values in your numeric column become bigger than you originally expected. For example, if we declare this age variable and we set the value to 75 and we convert that to a var car 2 and then we concatenate the string plus years old, we'll see that it works perfectly fine. However, if we change that value to a 100, now we suddenly have an extra digit in our integer. That 100, that third digit fits perfectly fine within our integer data type, but when we convert it to our varchar2, we get this concatenated string of star years old, which makes no sense. That's actually how I first found out about this issue is I had a number that I only expected to actually be eight digits long, but then when it became nine digits long one day, my casting and concatenation logic didn't handle it, and so the asterisk appeared out of nowhere and was very confusing. So is SQL Server to blame for this weird functionality? I mean, yeah, it is, right? It outputs an asterisk, but I can't say I blame the development team because like I mentioned, breaking changes are really hard to handle. And so sometimes it's better just to leave that less than ideal option in the code. And I've made videos in the past on how implicit conversions and just numbers in general in SQL Server are really hard to work with. This asterisk example is no exception. The key to all of these different types of problems in SQL Server where you have conversion issues is that we should really structure our code so that SQL Server doesn't have to make a judgment call about what to do with our data. Because at the end of the day, it's easy to complain that it has this weird behavior, but we're the ones telling it to do something that makes no sense, like take a three digit number and stick it into a two uh, character length string. How is it supposed to know what to do? I wouldn't know what to do. So anyway, that's it for this week's video. Hope this was something new to you. And if now you experience it in SQL Server, you'll know, ah uh, yes, this is a weird conversion issue on truncation of older data types. So thanks for tuning in. If you're not already a subscriber, please press that subscribe button so you never miss one of these videos. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.